you ever get tired of babysitting those first few layers? I do, and I got a fix for you. Hey everybody, welcome to E-Tree 3D. For those of you that's been here for a while, you know who I am. For those of you that are new here, welcome, and I am Mike. Today I'm gonna to show you how I hooked up a camera inside the printer, and I'm gonna provide a link down below to the actual mounts that I remixed. That way you can find one that works for you out of the four that came with it. So when I decided to first install a camera, I was gonna put my GoPro in there. So I created this little bracket here that hangs on the edge of the bed. GoPro mounts on the back here. Uh, problem is, bed lifts up and it hits the frame. It's right here. And so this didn't work, almost broke the GoPro. So I was like, all right, let's make it shorter. So we made another one. And this way with the GoPro right there. Problem is, as the nozzle sweeps across the front right there, it hits the GoPro. So again, couldn't figure out what to do. So I finally said, screw this. I'm getting me a Pie Cam. So I went out and bought the regular version of the Pie Cam. Now, there's a couple other versions out there which I might look at upgrading here soon, but right now, uh, this is the Pie Cam I've got and I'll uh, link it down below. So how does the Pie Cam work? Well, it works with a uh, ribbon cable. And so it comes with a standard, I wanna say like six inch ribbon cable. Um, we tried hooking it up. Six inches was not far enough to me to mount the camera and then route the, um, route it all the way to the Raspberry Pi. So I end up buying a uh, two meter, which roughly translates to six feet. If, yeah, I don't know metric. I'm still learning, so don't judge me on that. However, I was able to route it underneath the bottom of the printer. So it comes underneath the printer here on the side, comes down across here, up here, and then mounts up here in my corner. So that's how I was able to route mine. And for me, that's the best place for it. Um, I do think I'm going to upgrade to a probably a fisheye lens uh, to see if I can get a better angle on it uh, because with those mounts you can take the, the Pi camera and rotate it either way and then in uh, OctoPrint you can go in there and rotate your orientation of your camera so that way it mounts. So I'll probably end up updating to a uh, either a um, IR or Noir, no, still can't pronounce it, word, Noir. I think it's Noir. I don't know. Either way, uh, they've got the fish eye. They've also got the one with the, the two lights, which is the night vision one. Uh, so I haven't really decided which one I will want to upgrade. I might try them all out. Either way, once I get them in, uh, I'll release a different video showing the updated ones. And then I found a couple, went through a bunch of different types of uh, mounts for it. And I finally found a design. Um, there was a flaw with the original design, so I had to remix it a little bit. And then I printed out uh, four of them. As you see, three's here, one's in there. Uh, the fourth one is what I did is I shrank the Y and the Z on this uh, so I could get a better angle on it, which you'll see all my prints, uh, all the videos for that. So I will link these down below and I'll give you all four of them so that way you can choose which one work, works best for you and how you want to mount it. Using the Raspberry Pi with the OctoPrint, super easy. You can do create your time lapses. And now, watching those first layers get printed, much easier than constantly on my tippy toes back here. And this is how I do it. Oh no, I wonder how that print's doing. I should probably check on that print. If you like the content, please go down in the comments, leave us a comment, let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, and uh, go on and share, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when we release a new video, you get access to it. Thank you very much, and cheers.